What is up guys, it is Nick. We are here to do the betting video for this week three of the NFL season. I will probably start doing a college football one of these as well. Um, I do bet on that and I do enjoy betting on college football. Not a huge fan of the DFS -S side of it, so we will uh, we'll have betting videos on it. But let's hop into this. We're going to be going over regular games. I'll go through every game and get my picks and then talk about uh, whether or not I would actually play the bet or not. Uh, we'll also go over a couple of game and player props and talk over unders as well if there's a lean I have on one of them. But starting off, Colts and Eagles. Uh, Eagles minus 7. Um, minus 290 on the money line. I like the Eagles in this game, but I don't have any interest in betting it because of the fact that it's Carson Wentz's first game back. There may be a little bit of rust, and uh, I don't want to take the risk that uh, maybe they just end up winning a 24-21 like, type game where it's pretty close. For the over-under, my lean is the over. Um, I'm considering betting it, but uh, once again, like I said, with Carson Wentz having his first game back, no Ajayi, no Sproles, uh, I'm decently concerned the Eagles win this game, but it's a lot closer than it should be, and it's a little bit low scoring. Moving on to the Panthers and the Bengals, I like the Bengals plus three. If I was going to play them, I'd probably just take the money line at plus 130, Probably won't end up betting this game. Um, kind of depends on how tonight pans out. I need a couple of wins tonight in college football um, to, to, to make me consider it. If, if I win, I'll go like plus 12 units on the day for college football. So I'll probably bet a unit or whatever on the Bengals plus 130. But otherwise, not a whole lot of interest in that. And not a whole lot of interest in the over-under. I could see multiple scenarios where this game goes over. I could see when it goes under. So... I just don't have a whole lot of interest in that. Moving on to the Titans and the Jags. Lean's Jags is minus 10, and Lean is on the over if Mariota plays. If Mariota does not play, it's a lean on not playing anything related to this game except maybe, maybe Jags minus 10. Um, but just not a whole lot of interest in this game. I don't like taking heavy favorites in the in the NFL. Um Six and a half is about my limit for NFL just because um, NFL teams don't tend to get like blown out. And there's a lot of times late in NFL games where teams will just let the other team score with minimal amount of time left where it doesn't matter anymore. And it can really blow up your your big spreads. Moving on to the Falcons and the Saints. Falcons minus one, minus 121 and minus 131 on the on the betting line or on the money line. I really like the over in this game at 53. I'll probably bet it tomorrow morning. Um, I usually wait to do all of my bets on college football or on on NFL until all my college football bets are paid out. Um, just something I like to do and prefer, uh, so then I know where I stand and what I bet on my bankroll and all that different stuff, just to make sure stuff has has gone through as wins and losses. Um, and so I'll probably end up doing that bet in the morning on the over for the Falcons and the Saints. One of my favorite bets of the week. I think we get to uh I get, I think we get to like a 31-28 type game uh fairly easily. And that's a 59 point game, obviously. So, I think uh I think we get there. I think we get to a, a nice high scoring game. Last year they played two games that didn't reach 40 or 50, I believe, and then two years ago, both of their games reached 70s. Uh, I much expect the games to reach the 70s, and so I'll be taking the over. The over does have a little bit of a juice, it has a little bit of juice on the over, but uh, I do prefer it. it. May jump up to 53 and a half. I'd still be willing to take it at that. 54, you're getting a little bit more into an iffy area, but uh, 54, I'd probably still consider it. If I get paid out for my college football bets tonight before I go to sleep, I will, in fact, bet it tonight just to be safe. Uh, moving on to the Broncos and the Ravens. Ravens are five and a half point favorites, plus or minus 240 on the money line. Uh, the over under is set at 46 and a half. I really want no point uh, or no part of this game. If I was going to bet it, I would take the Broncos plus 200. Uh, they are going west to east um, for a one o'clock kickoff game, which never bodes well. Uh, but I do like them uh, at plus 200 dogs. I don't really like them 
for anything other than that. But uh, for for plus two hundred dog, I might take a flyer on them, but probably not. Moving on to the Texans and the Giants, over under is set at forty three and a half. Um, Texans minus six favorites and minus two fifty five on the money line. Have no real interest in betting this game that way, but I do have a lot of interest on the over under. Um, I'm leaning slightly on taking the over up 43 and a half uh, at 44. I think I think Deshaun Watson and Will Fuller and DeAndre Hopkins can put some points on the board. Uh, how much is semi limited? Um, but if they could get to 24 points, um, then I'm relying on Eli Manning to get to 20. Uh, so I have I, I like that game to go. I, I like the game to get to the over. I'm not entirely sure I'll bet it. Uh, Miami Raiders is the next game. The Dolphins are minus three, 148 on the money line, and the over under is set at 44 and a half. I'm just not messing with this game, so <laughs> I like the. I think I lean the the Raiders at plus 128, but I don't really like this game, so. We're just going to make that nice and short and move on. So next we have the Packers minus 2.5 against the Redskins. Uh, minus 140 on the money line. Over under set at 45. Um, I probably won't touch the over under. Though I do usually like to target the over on games with Aaron Rodgers in it. But it's a hobbled Aaron Rodgers. So I'll probably hold off on that. Uh, but I do like the, the Packers at minus 2.5. Uh, maybe a bet I actually make tomorrow, uh, like them at minus two and a half against the Redskins. Uh, even with a hobbled, uh, even with a hobbled Aaron Rodgers, I like the prospects of minus two and a half. Moving on to the Bills and the Vikings, sixteen and a half point favorites are the Vikings against the Bills. Uh, minus thirteen fifty on the money line is the Vikings. I'll probably include the the Vikings in parlays. Um, so if I bet that over under on the Falcons, if I bet the over, I'll probably parlay it with the Vikings minus 1350. Uh, I think it'll, it, it juices up the payout as well as kind of, I mean, come on, the Vikings are probably a lot to win this week. Let's be, let's be honest. So I'll probably end up throwing that in in a lot of uh, parlays and whatnot. Uh, other than that, I don't have a whole lot of interest in betting that game. Moving on to Kansas City and the 49ers. A game that I probably won't touch. I don't have a whole lot of interest in playing this game. Um, I like the idea. I like the idea of taking um, San Fran or of taking Kansas City minus six and the over. Um, I might parlay it together. Uh, San Francisco minus or I keep saying San Francisco, Kansas City minus six and the over. Um, I might parlay it together, but I don't have a whole heck of a lot of interest in it overall I, I like the I like the idea of that parlay I don't like I, I don't know if I want to put real money on it um, but I do like that parlay because probably if the Chiefs win they're gonna win by scoring a lot um, there's also a, a way that you could there's also a correlation of parlaying the 49ers with the under um, I'd probably take the 49ers money line with the under because um, I think the 49ers would hold the the Chiefs in check if they would t were to get the win. Moving on to the Rams and the Chargers. Chargers plus or er, Rams minus seven against the Chargers in the Battle of LA. Minus three hundred on the money line. Over under set at forty nine. Um, I actually like this game to go under in a game of featuring high powered offenses. I think um, I won't be betting it, but I think the Chargers hang around in this game a little bit longer than expected, and I think they keep it a little bit low scoring. And I think. I think the Rams win a game that's, you know, 21 or 24-14, something like that. But uh, one of those games that I don't have a huge strong read on, I do like that play, but I probably won't make the bet. Moving on to the Bears and the Cardinals. I like the Bears' money line parlayed. Um, but other than that, I probably won't be betting this. I won't bet it straight up, but I do. I'll probably have a Bears' money line parlayed with the Vikings and um, and the Falcons probably do a money line play like that uh, but other than that I don't have a really strong I don't really have a play in this that I want to make that over under is a little bit juicy at 38 and a half but these two teams are so terrible I'm not sure I can make a bet on them 
Moving on to the Cowboys and the Seahawks. Seahawks minus two at home, minus 125 on the money line. Over under set at 40 and a half. The Cowboys and Seahawks tend to play a little bit slower of games. Uh, so I do like the under on this, um, like a 17-14. The Seahawks are pretty bad. Uh, that offensive line is, is terrible. Their defense is not great, but it but it has shown some signs of promise. Uh, and the Cowboys like to run with Zeke and chew that clock. And so I do like the under in this game. Once again, probably just thrown in a parlay opposed to just a straight bet. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the straight bets tomorrow for the NFL, uh, but I do like that parlay. Moving on, we have the Patriots and the Lions. Patriots minus 7, minus 300 on the money line, and the over-under is set at 54.5. I like the Patriots minus 6.5. If I can get them at 6.5, I'll make the bet. At 7, I may buy the points because there's juice on the Lions plus 7. Um, at 6.5, I'll probably I'll probably buy that point if they don't come down to 6.5. And, and um, I like the over in this game. It's a dome game. I love the overs and dome games, and both of these teams' defenses are pretty bad, and so I think uh, I think it's a high-scoring game, and so I like the Patriots minus six and a half. I like buying the points and uh, the over. Monday Night Football. We have the Steelers and the Bucks. The Bucks are minus one, and the over/under is set at fifty-four and a half. No money line in this game. Um, I like the over in this game. Uh, and it might actually be a straight bet for me on the over. Um, obviously, it depends on if Ryan Fitzmagic can keep up uh, his start to the season. He doesn't need to be that good, but he needs to be appropriately decent. He can't turn into F Ryan Fitz tragic on us, or it won't hit the over. But I do really like the straight bet on the over in this game between the Steelers and the Bucks. I know that most people prefer the overs because it involves more action, but this week there are a lot of over totals that I like. Um, but I did like the under total here on the Cowboys and the Seahawks. I like like a 17 to 14 game in that one uh, with a lot of defense. Even though the defenses aren't great, I think both teams will give up sacks, which ultimately hurts you. And with the Cowboys wanting to run, if Dak gets sacked, it really hurts the prospects of running. Moving on, we have player props that I wanted to talk about. So, there's also the builds, but I also wanted to talk about, um, not the quick picks. We'll start with the build first, I guess. Um, I thought, let me see. Here we go, here's what I wanted, here what I want. this is what I want. So, the over-under passing yards, um, this is something I wanted to bet on here so let me find the players wait, wait, wait. okay that was 227 i scrolled and i thought it said 275 for cam and i was like hammer the under on that bad boy um the one that i wanted to bet where is it where is it is i wanted to where is it Oh, they took it off. There was a, there was an over under bet for Josh Allen earlier today when I was looking, and it was at two twenty. The over under was set for Josh Allen, and I wanted to bet the over, but it's not on here anymore, so I can't bet. I can't bet the Josh Allen over under passing yards. Um, I like the Matt Ryan to over two seventy seven point five. If the game turns into a shootout, should. It should uh, he should eclipse 300 yards in this game. Um, he is the, to be fair, to be fair, Matt Ryan is the king of the 275 yard games. But uh, I like him to get over 300 this week. Um, there's not many other passing props that I like. Uh, moving on, I don't think there were any completion props. Actually, there is a completion prop that I like. I like uh, the over on the completion prop for Drew Brees. Um, Drew Brees likes to dump it off a lot to Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas. Uh, and if the game flow works as expected, he should be dropping it off a lot to Alvin Kamara. So I like the over on Drew Brees um, 
completions. I don't like the Matt Ryan over, even though I like him for the yards. I think there's some big plays to Julio Jones, so probably won't be going there. Moving on to the rushing yards uh, over unders. Where is La did Latavius? Murray yeah, Lat Murray um, at 73 and a half. I like the over on that. I think Lat Murray gets to 100 yards here, and so I really like the over on the Latavius Murray rushing yards. Next is next is the where is it? The Alvin Kamara rushing yards. I think in this game they throw it a lot. They've been averaging two point two point four two point four rushing yards per attempt. Can we can we get serious about this? Two point four. Two point four. I like the under on Alvin Kamara rushing yards at 55 and a half. I think, I think, though, they, they've been running, they haven't been running Kamara much. They've been running him about 10 times per game, um, 10 to 14 times per game. And for 55 and a half, I like the under. 130 is a little pricey on the Alvin Kamara under, but I do like it. Moving on to the receiving props. We start off with, so hard, I gotta find them, because they're not, oh, the first name's in alphabetical order, I was looking at the last name, so, let's see, Ch -ch -ch -ch. Julio Jones, 98 and a half, I like the over on this, Marshawn Lattimore's been getting torched all year, and, or not torched, but uh, he's been beatable all year, and last year, Julio took him for um, 90 plus and 140 plus yards in the two matchups they have. I like Julio Jones to go over 100 yards tomorrow. He's seeing a higher market share in targets than he has the previous years, and so I like him. I like the Michael Thomas over. Probably won't bet it. Um, it's a little high for my liking, but I do like that. Uh, there was one more receiver prop that I liked. Will Fuller, 57 and a half. I like the over on this one. Um, Came back last week, and Deshaun Watson looked to him as his favorite target. And so I like Will Fuller over 57.5 yards. Receptions. What's the, Julio, what's the Julio Jones reception prop? Julio Jones reception prop is set at 6.5. I like the over on that. I'll probably go ahead and parlay Julio's over on the receptions prop and the regular receptions together. Um, If I'm allowed to. I don't, actually, I don't think I can do it here on the game. On the, on bet online i'll probably have to go somewhere else to parlay those together if it won't let me do it here uh but i'll probably go somewhere else and parlay those together uh moving on to michael thomas with the seven and a half catch prop i'll probably take the over on that as well i like that for him uh, and then do we have a we do not have a will fuller reception prop i would have taken the will fuller reception prop uh, let me see. Is there one I can fill in here for Will Fuller? Nah, I'm not going to take any of these. I do kind of like the over on the Travis Kelsey receptions. Is that all of those props? I think it is. So now, the final thing we're going to look at is head-to-heads. So if we go over here, I want, I want the Matt Ryan... I want Matt Ryan passing yards against Mitchell Trubisky and Dak Prescott gives you some decent odds here so you gotta actually I gotta type in Dak because he doesn't come up so there's Dak add him to the group and it brings it to minus 185 which I think is a fair is a fair price for Matt Ryan to throw for more yards than Mitchell Trubisky and Dak Prescott um another one that's interesting uh if Leonard Fournette is in I would add Blake Bortles to that as well to make it plus 102 uh, you can only do three opponents, so that would be my three opponents versus Matt Ryan. Uh, if we can clear this out. And can I get wide receivers? Can I, how, do you get, how do I get wide receivers? Let me just add, okay, Julio Jones, receiving yards. How do I switch this from quarterbacks? Where is 
Let's see, here we go. I like him more receiving yards versus Michael Thomas, and then I like to reverse that and do Michael Thomas more receive more catches than Julio Jones. Uh, but you could add the stack with Muhammad Sanu, and you could really bring it down. I mean, Sanu obviously doesn't help it a lot, but you could bring it down off of that. Uh, but I like that little head-to-head -head Julio Jones versus Michael Thomas. Um, but you could do it with pretty much anyone. I like Julio Jones for the most yards on the slate tomorrow. But that's going to do it, guys, for this episode of the betting. Uh, I'll have the Sunday or the Monday night thing out as soon as I can. If it's not out before I go start to leave for the, the Patriots game, it'll be out on Monday. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.